What's up guys? So, we're not really doing car stuff today. And the reason for that is uh, kind of to show you why I haven't been doing car stuff. Who's there? Connecting rod. That's good. Came out here into the garage the other day and tried to film and make some progress on the on the GTI, get some work done. I just didn't have it in me though. Came in here, uh, just didn't have the motivation or the energy. And I'm not gonna just force out videos that aren't good. You know, I'm not gonna force myself to film and edit and post stuff that's not good. I've been working six to seven days a week. Um, it has been a crazy winter. As you can see, there's like a foot and a half of snow out there. Those piles are like three feet, three and a half feet tall from shoveling it all. We've run out of space to put the snow. So today, I don't know, we're just gonna kind of show you what I have been busy with, with my sometimes one day a week off. Yeah, I don't know, we've been busy with a lot of, a little bit of everything. You know, oh, uh, I've got my super jet motor and pieces in here waiting to go back together we got pistons ready for it i got the um crank rebuilt which is in here somewhere i noticed that the motor started to crack right at the base of the jug which is kind of a common issue when you start to run higher compression and really beat the crap out of these motors but more so when you modify them um there's certain ways to prevent it which I learned about too late. Ugh. So when I went to take it apart to get the jug ready to be fixed, uh, I found that the rear cylinder opposite the one that was cracked uh, had some play in the main rod. I guess is uh, there's some metal in there caused this damage, but then also found its way down to the, the main connecting rod bearing at the bottom there and found some play. So it's kind of a blessing in disguise that the jug cracked and I went and found that issue. So I've got that to worry about still. Just one of the many countless projects that I have going on. Because I have way too many. Speaking of which, we also bought another rabbit. Uh, right now it's middle of February. It's February 21st. Uh, so I anticipate March, April. Works long down enough for me to take the couple day trip to go get it. So you guys will see a video on that sometime next month, maybe in April. GTI, we'll get into that when we start making progress and actually put some videos out about it. But I haven't touched this since, just to put into perspective of how busy I've been with work for how long now, it, the last I touched this car was the last video I put out about it. And there's mouse nests on the dashboard now. So yeah, uh, we'll get into that soon enough. Uh, that new project we're getting, we'll also dive into. So. I even mentioned it in videos previously, this could very easily get sidetracked. This really isn't a, a top priority and that's been proven with the new project I'm getting. So again, we're just going to do non-car stuff today. Uh, not to get you guys worried that I'm going to start doing random vlogs about not related to what this channel is about. I just don't really... I don't know, I feel like I need to post something for you guys. Um, so if you don't really care to see non-Volkswagen stuff, go ahead and end the video. Uh, but don't go far because the next video will be Volkswagen stuff. I don't want to scare you guys off and make you think I'm going to start posting unrelated videos all the time. This channel is based on early water-cooled Volkswagens and it's going to stay that way. Um, just work gets so crazy for me in the winter. Uh, but... Gotta make money to fund this addiction somehow, so. Not that I've been busy with the jet ski motor, but that just shows you, you know, there's, I have stuff other than these cars going on in life. Lately has been shoveling freaking snow. Had to go up and shovel the shed and garage off because there was a foot of snow up there. And as you can see, we got more snow after that. We've had about five or six significant snowfalls this year it's crazy uh firewood 
I'm very busy with firewood, mostly in the fall and the end of summer. This whole area out to about here, actually no, I think it came out, it came out to about here. I had pallets down of firewood stacked about this high and we've burned through all that. There's a row of firewood here, going straight to there. Um, same thing with this, this was stacked about yay high all the way across and then pallets came out to about here just stacked straight with wood and we're getting kind of kind of low on this main pile there's still a good amount stacked under there got all that but that's that's the main pile then we've got about another cord maybe a little less than a cord of wood here we went through close to two cords, maybe a cord and a half already. And this is a little less than a cord as backup. Might have to dip into that. I'd rather not. Because truthfully, that stuff needs to season a little bit more. Before it'd be ideal to burn. Or he loves the firewood. This was probably about two, two and a half cords worth. And I split it mostly by hand. We do heat the entire house with it. Uh, only turn the gas heat on or the electric heat on just to kind of help supplement it but for the most part heat almost entirely off of the wood um, got the wood stove for emergency purposes really but while we have it might as well use it so got these bad Larry's some axe corn a little axe porn for you guys if any of you care about knives and axes. I was a little hesitant to spend the money but once I got it and started using it definitely glad I did. Especially with the amount of splitting I do. Um, this thing feels like it'll last a lifetime. So definitely worth the money. If you're on you know if you split wood too and have a nice handmade or wood handle Swedish or German style splitting axe or anything of that nature that you're not sure about buying because they're a lot of money treat yourself especially if you use it a lot this one bought this one recently just a little I wouldn't say cheap cheap because it's like a hundred and something dollars meanwhile the composite handle mass produced ones are not mass produced but the you know husky and Fisker stuff is half that price for something similar. But yeah, love this stupid thing. Not that I've been busy with this lately, but approaching the winter and part of the summer spent dealing with collecting and splitting firewood. Somewhat busy with this monster. Hey, hey, hey. Got the van, which we haven't been driving because just like the Mark 1s, when there's road salt on the roads, these will rot out. So if you want them to last, you kind of got to not drive them in the winter. But nothing's really changed with this. Drove it a few times when there wasn't any salt on the road. We have to say that this winter. Too much? Ernie doesn't agree. Maybe we'll drop him off and go see if we could watch the bikes on the ice. The sound of my people. The lake is like a quarter mile that way. It's frozen over. The dirt bikes and ice racers are out there. Might go over there and watch later. No, this is for me. Take this one. No. 
What are you doing? Making a terrarium in the winter, like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Just all you gotta do is take out the contents of Ernie's stomach, and you got your terrarium. Clearly. Right. You Go. Stick something. Are you gonna try to get a rock? A couple of them. Oh. Nothing like the great outdoors. Shit. What else have I been busy with that's not car related? Uh, eating? Normally, we are charcoal people. Don't doubt what we got going on here because we got the propane, charcoal, and the rotisserie. Some of you don't know about that. So, I don't need to hear anything about using propane. It's cold as shit out, and the convenience is hard to beat. Yeah, and then lastly, I'm busy with the firehouse. I joined uh, a year and a half, two years ago now. I'd show you guys inside, but I don't know if I'm allowed to, so. We got some pretty cool stuff. Not really trying to make excuses. I guess this video is just to give you guys a look at everything else going on in life for me. Because there's certainly no shortage of other stuff. So come March, maybe April, we'll be picking up that new project. Which is uh, pretty exciting. Some of you know the car. We'll wait, to, uh, we'll wait to tell you guys about it. This YouTube channel doesn't make me money. So I can't really just stop what I'm doing at work. Or turn down work to stay at home and... I make videos all day, you know, in warmer, warmer winters, I tend to have more time and energy to work on 
stuff in the garage but working six to seven days a week most of this winter I last thing I'm gonna do on on my one day off if I'm lucky uh, is go outside and be cold in the garage and work on stupid old rusty cars so you know, we won't really be doing non Volkswagen videos like this often so or really at all I would hope but unless you guys want to see more of it let me know see you later